Hey folks, it's Brian here, and I'm doing a little bit of a tool tear down and maybe a repair on a home light 16 inch electric or 14 inch electric chainsaw. So the problem I have is that sometimes this spins and sometimes it doesn't. And this appears to be loose inside. So we're going to take it apart and see if we can figure out what's going on before we go spend another $80 probably built on the same factory and not any better. So you need a screwdriver and basically you're going to take all these screws out so that you can pop this thing apart. These saws come with a um, 90 day, 90 minute or 90 minute or 90 foot warranty. No, it's probably 90 days. I don't know. I've owned this for a while and uh, it's clearly out from under warranty and I was cutting down a tree with it yesterday so I'm sure that that's not covered under warranty. Uh, I was actually using it pretty hard yesterday so whatever. And for the most part electric chainsaws were really good fit for me. I, I don't use it Constantly, I don't earn a living with it, so. Fortunately, they seem to have used all the same screws everywhere. And that's actually refreshing because a lot of times these guys use 10 different screws, and then you gotta try and remember where the hell they actually go. I'm expecting this to come apart and never work again, but we'll see. That's longer. And then we need to get this knob off. Let me go get something for that. Actually, almost nice out this morning. Well, that had happened. There we go. So, if you pop this piece of plastic off, there's a screw under there. two more screws put out here. Again, everything seems to be the same. Nope, nope, those are different. Wow, what a shitty design. All right, let's see if this is ready to come apart. this has to come off too. Acting like it's stuck on something. Oh yeah, there's a screw under here. So yeah, this this uh, tensioning plate has to come out. That gives you access to the screw that's underneath it that's holding the whole case together.
So we're going to have to get this out. Let me get a little screwdriver. <clears throat> there is a e-clip that is holding this uh, chain gear, the drive gear, whatever you want to call it, in place. The trick with this is to remove the e-clip without stabbing yourself or sending the e-clip into oblivion. Alright, so insert and twist. Let's see why is this loose. Uh, looks like a total failure. So let's go deeper. Still don't see why. Other than get over there. Well, that seems to be pressed on. Well, that part works. on. Oh, here's the problem. Uh, the housing cracked. So that is a fatal, I mean, that, that's not repairable. So that that's the end of this tool. Um, but it's because this cheap plastic housing cracked and Mm. Fortunately, uh, there's nothing I can do about that. So, um, <clears throat> so if you have a similar situation where sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't, that's going to be uh, your cause of failure. Is the um, they're using this outer plastic casing to retain the bearing and. That allows this to shift forward, and uh, it's uh, basically at that point you're screwed. So, uh, sorry I can't fix this. I uh, hope you found this entertaining. Um, and if you have one of these that's failed, let me know in the comments. Um, and uh, it just is what it is.